what the Falcons fans can expect from me as a player is a person who's going to come in and work every single day and give his absolute best. A person who's, who's energetic and a, a person who makes, you know, exciting plays but is also consistent. Um, I think that trust and, and having relationships within a team is, you know, really what makes a team go. Um, you know, if you don't have the connections with your brothers off the field, um, then, you know, it, it won't really click on the field. So really just getting connected with them, um, understanding their background, where they come from, uh, so that we, when we know when we step on the field, uh, everything's going to run smoothly. When I started as a freshman coming into Cincinnati, um, you know, I was just a, a young 17-year-old, didn't know much about, you know, really the true ins and outs of football. And then now where I'm at right now, it's, you know, head over hills of, of where I was as a freshman. Um, so, you know, I thought that I've really benefited myself in, you know, not only coming back from my senior season, um, but, you know, all the, the time that I had at Cincinnati has really prepared me for where I am today. I wanted to leave a legacy there at Cincinnati, which was huge for me. Um, and then two, obviously all the hard work and, and you know, effort that not only myself, but all my other teammates put in to make that happen. Um, but for me, you know, the biggest thing was just being able to go out there um, and, and prove to people that one, I'm a winner, and two, that I love competition and love the game. What's up, man? How's it going? How you doing? I'm doing well. You doing well? You, you, you yes, with sir. your family? Yes, sir. You you ready to be a Falcon? Yes, sir. All right. Sure man. Took this on, Coach. They don't up. I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, hey. Listen, everything happens for a reason, right? Yes, we sir. We sat in that room with you, and we we talked yes, about sir. It, it, exactly why you guys were playing so well in Cincinnati. The chip on the shoulder that y'all had, right? The way y'all played, the way y'all fought, the way y'all competed. You, you know that sign up that says how you do anything is how you do everything. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's how we do things here, all right? Yeah, we're okay. going to get it done then. A phone rang for me. It was a moment that I've been waiting for, obviously, my entire life. It's a dream that I've had ever since I was a little kid. And, you know, when I saw it was the Atlanta number, the 404 number, um, I was just really excited. Um, it wasn't that far from home, and I knew the culture that here is in Atlanta, um, as far as, you know, the, the gritty, the, the want to work, the hard, tough, and nasty culture that it is here. Um, that's something that I wanted to be a part of. That's something. I pride myself on it is hard work and, and grit and effort. Well, having a one-year-old, she's she's definitely made me um, more selfless as a, as a person. Everything that I do, I do from her. Whether it's it's getting up early in the morning, going to bed late at night, um, weightlifting, running, you know, all those hard times that I have, you know, at football and, and all the struggles that we go through. Um, I know at the end of the day that everything I do, I do for her. You know, one thing that she's also taught me too is just patience. Um, patience, you know, with this whole process, um, with the journey of life, and, you know, obviously patience as a father because, you know, not everything is going to go 100% your way or how you expect it to go. Um, but if you just, you know, kind of go with the flow and uh, let it go, everything will work itself out. <laughs> so go in there and, you know, show myself of that I know the offense, I know the playbook. I'm able to go into the huddle and command the offense, command the huddle, and then to be able to go out there and execute. Um, and then like we talked about before, just from all the hard work and preparation that I've put in um, in my time here to be able to go out there and execute um, and not only show myself, show the coaches, but also show you know some of the older guys, some of the vets that I can come out here and do what they do. I think there's a, a, an advantage of going out onto the field and you know telling yourself that you know you're the best player out there, and if you don't, um, then you're putting yourself at a little bit of a disadvantage, you know, already on the mental side of it. Um, and for me, you know, the mental side of the game is huge for me being a quarterback. Um, so just telling myself that I'm going to go out there and be the best uh, player, um, competitor, teammate, whatever it need be. And that's how you start off positive. <laughs>